Alright, what's up guys? Yurkrum6 here, doing a Minecraft video. Um, it's my adventure map that I built, or what I have done of it. It's a pretty good map. Um, handmade by me. Took a lot of time, so um, it's a sky. it's the closest thing I could get to a Skyrim map. It's not the full thing, I'm adding on more, there's a little bit of advanced stuff. So, um, I have a forum of what I have. Um, Skyrim Adventure Map. Alright, so we're gonna read the rules here. Don't destroy any blocks unless told to. Choose one class. Finish your job before you start another one. Don't cheat unless you look at them. Unless you're a mage. A good document. And don't steal. It means you don't you don't steal from other buildings unless uh, you receive a quest, which I'll input later. But so these are the three classes: the mage, warrior slash knight guy, and the adventurer. Each has their own special. Talents like this guy, he's got the stronger armor and weapons, but you know, he's really only good for like doing the guard duties and uh stuff, so it would take a while to get to some of the stuff. And there's the adventure, you're basically going on quests, you got a dot, you got a not diamond gold weapons, uh, you got chain mail armor, some maps, books, and stuff. And then you have your maid, which is basically you, you don't have a lot of stuff, I mean, actually, no, you do have quite a bit of stuff, but. It like these each have the different and feathers are the currency in this game like for this map so as you can see he's got three diamonds and this would be called the, gold, the apple of eden when it's in the uh game like uh something might say uh you must search for another apple of eden thing um but you got a bunch of mobs and stuff so i'm just gonna turn that off because it's annoying all right so um i'm probably gonna choose this guy, because, um, I just kind of like to go out and fight stuff, so, um, just add uh, this awesome, actually, you know what, no, I'm not going to do that, I'm going to be the, uh, I think I'm going to be the adventurer, because I get to go out more, and adventurers can make a lot of money, which is really important in this game. For this map, so um, I'm gonna get all the adventure equipment on, which is quite awesome. So you may not have the best armor and stuff, but it's still something to protect you because you're basically just going out on small quests. So we're gonna have maps, and then um, so what? I put in is that you have to go, wait, this is the right way, yeah. So we're gonna go to the, um, the, the fort place, the town. This is a vacant house. And then down there, there's gonna be a left turn, which I'll take in a while, which is gonna go into the, the castle thing, which is, um, basically a really high priced living space. So, this is it, um, you know, I'm just gonna go back into creative mode because I meant to leave this open. Alright, so, um, destroy that. No! No, what did I do? Oh, sorry guys for that, but, uh, Oh my god. Right, laggy. Alright, so, um, we're gonna throw that out. Turn that off. Put the books back in. Alright, so, this is the executive four or whatever. Um, so I did the, this to make it look nicer. So, um, this is the jobs guy. Um, since I am an adventurer, um, these are basically jobs. If you don't want to have to go out of the, um, castle you can stay within or trade within the next town or whatever um but right now since you can't unlock the highway to jobs till you're about level five which is going to be later which means you have to complete a certain amount of quests and perform them in a certain way or whatever so we're going to take the merchant uh job so yeah we're going to take the merchant job so that means we're going to basically be selling stuff within the next few days to either the supply store, which will be used for the construction guy, library for books, or the potion shop, or even the yield in food. 
Um, another good thing is that the Adventure Council work at the farms, which can also bring in a lot of money because there are, I think, two, three, four, five farms in this place, so that it's high yielding. But you can pretty much go anywhere you want. You want to keep these villagers inside because they're weird. So I've added some stuff, you know, to the villages. Um, this is not to be passed. The forum said the the, the sea gate. This is the sea gate, not the sea wall. This is the sea gate is not to be passed um, unless the lord who's on a battle, who's in a battle, is uh returns. So um, this is the wall. Um, which will defend you on raids, which will defend off raids and stuff. And then it says that in the project, if you can, if you are the adventurer, the adventurer has most of the jobs, which is pretty awesome, uh, I guess. But you have to do a lot of work. The constructionist has to build a two. Uh, he just has to add on either one or two more blocks to the wall to make it thicker. And if it's thick enough, you can actually start having like a barrack with inside it or something, which uh, in the forums I put at wishing to do so, however, but that may be in another town, which is going to be pretty big. So, um, since we don't have a house or anything, because we, we don't have enough money at all, we only have, yeah, it's like 128 feathers, um, it's not enough, so we're just going to go put it in, in the bank. A local bank. Uh, since I haven't gotten the NPCs to get in here, you can just go do it. Yourself. Um, I'm gonna put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, sorry for counting. I just had to. All right, so these nine feathers. That's the pay rent for the for the ends. Is it's about nine feathers a day. I mean, nine feathers for. Uh, three days, so we'll be keeping track. And if you uh, lose all your money, and we'll have to live throughout the nights, which is pretty long. Or you could then uh, become a raider, which is pretty awesome. I guess, you know. So, uh, since I still haven't gotten any NPCs into this, I'm still working on that. I'm gonna put nine feathers in, and I can choose anything I want. I wanna go into the second floor because it's more private. I don't want any random NPCs, and I think it's... Well, which one is it? It's really awesome. Um, it's not this one. Alright, so it's Sweet 2. So I'm just gonna go get a sign. That was weird. Place the book. Take it. Wait, wait. You're sorry for the background stuff. Alright, so. Wait, what? Alright, yeah, so this is my new home. I'm going to deposit all my special things. Ah, what the? Alright, so. Um, since I'm not actually going to be, like, doing anything for the first episode, so like, showing y'all around the whole place, um, we're just going to go check out, or I, I need to get my axe, which of course will probably be used up the quickest. So we're going to go get the axe. So, um, I, I may also bring an armor stand, which I have that mod for, and the, uh, tree capacitator thing, so adventure will be easy to avoid. Um, there are a number of things you can sell in the village, like wood materials and stuff, and, um, you'll get, uh, feathers. Or you can trade, which, with other towns, not in town trading. Because I make the game too easy, and then you, all you do is just like go like mine underground and 
stuff so that's the start point. spawn so um I'm gonna go to the castle which is but or the very nice place as I like to call it still got some to build it's got two floors within the mountain and then um kind of like a little walkway up to the main part of the house so yeah. sorry it's so laggy I don't know why trying to fix that move it baby now move it somewhere my Ezio's assassin pack it's pretty cool so now that we've selected the adventurer, I can go almost wherever I want. But I do have to lay these things if I discover nice open land or whatever. I have to lay down a path and stuff. So I will be bringing out some cobblestone and stuff. So. Alright. This is a private, so we do it. Since this is vacant and it's also private, it has to be closed at all times. So this is, these are the first two floors that are still being done. But uh, if we go this way, da, 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 um, you'll come to the stairwell, which has a nice view, and, so much, and then uh, so then you come to here, which is also still in the workings. Maybe a second floor, maybe move it out that way, making it really nice. But those buildings right here are vacant because they haven't been paid for. Which means, you know, they're still up for sale. So we're gonna get it out of this price. Oh yeah, that's my, uh... Thingy, I need to destroy that. I'm going to take that out. Yeah, oh. Ah, I thought I deleted that. Alright, so we're gonna get out of here. And I think it's almost time to go to bed for this. Like, not me, but the game. Because, you know. But no, nope, it's pretty much a dead wipe. So, in the next episode, we'll be starting to adventure. Because we're the adventurer, dude. Bada bum. Bada bum. And I tried to do a small smart movement. Pretty awesome mod I read. I've also seen the video. It's almost like Assassin's Creed. Or like Uncharted 2 where you can, I mean it's just that instead of like, cause you can only go like this, instead of like this, you'd be able to actually like climb over it and stuff. And you could, uh, it was like real swimming. Um, it was, ah, God, um, it was, uh, the video was pretty cool, I tried to download it but it failed, I don't know why. So, um. Just gonna go back to the big fort place. Um, this is set on peaceful, even though I've already backed up the world. Um, so I mean, even if I were to turn it onto hardcore or whatever, it would, it would be all right. But I just want it to be peaceful so that I don't have to deal with anything. Because this is an adventure, man. He doesn't deal with nothing. So that will probably be our first house. It's only one floor. But um, yeah, that's the coat of arms I bear. So we're gonna get back in. Um, um so we're just gonna go to bed, and that'll be the end of this episode, guys. Uh, let's play Skyrim. I mean, let's play Minecraft Skyrim Adventure Map. Hopefully, y'all like this. Y'all do. I'll make play my add-ons. So um, uh, please rate and subscribe, guys. Um, I'll see you later. My will for three videos out tomorrow. Um, I got this awesome Reaper gameplay for y'all, so I can't wait to do that for y'all. Please rate and subscribe. Bye.